Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Physiosaurus. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing about the structures in the hip complex. So in the structure, we will study about three things. First is the joint. Second is angles. And in angles, we will study about the angle of femur in which we will talk about the angle of inclination and torsion. Okay. And then the next angle is angle of acetabulum and in angle of acetabulum we will discuss about two things central edge angle or you can say angle of Viberg and the uh, second thing is acetabular antiversion angle. Okay. And the third thing which we will discuss is uh, important structures which is femoral triangle. Okay. So there are three things which I'll be discussing in this video. So let's talk about the first one, which is joint of the hip complex. So as you all know, in hip complex, there is only one joint, which is hip joint. Okay. Now, uh, if we talk about the hip joint, uh, let's talk about its articular surface first. Okay. Articular surfaces of the hip joint. Okay. So in articular surface, the proximal articular surface is of acetabulum. Okay. Proximal articular surface is acetabulum acetabulum and the distal articular surface is the femoral head femoral head now let's talk about the type of the joint so the hip joint is basically ball and socket joint ball and socket joint of synovial joint okay synovial joint next thing is we'll talk about the movements Okay, so the movements which occurs in the hip joints. So basically the movements are, uh, it is divided into two groups. So the first movement occurs in which femur moves on fixed pelvis. Okay, fixed pelvis. And the second one is, second category is pelvis moves on, moves on fixed femur, fixed femur. Now, if you talk about the uh, femur moves moving on the fixed pelvis, so there are uh, certain movements. I'll write them. Okay, one by one. So the first is flexion. Second is extension. Third is abduction. Fourth is adduction. Fifth is internal rotation. And the sixth one is external rotation. Okay, now let's talk about when the femur, uh, when the femur is fixed and the pelvis bone moves on the fixed femur. Now, what are those movements? So these movements are anterior tilting, anterior tilting. Second is posterior tilting. Okay, third is hiking. Okay, fourth is dropping drooping okay the fifth one is forward rotation forward rotation and the sixth one is backward rotation backward rotation now let's talk about its degree of freedom okay degree of freedom of hip joint so degree of freedom of hip joint is three degree okay now let's talk about the loose back position and the close back position okay Loose back position, LPP and CPP in short. So loose back position of hip joint is 30 degree flexion, 30 degree flexion and uh, 30 degree abduction, sorry, abduction with external rotation, external rotation. Okay. So this uh, is the loose pack position of the hip complex and the second one is close pack position close pack position see uh, loose pack position and close pack position i have already described what is loose pack and close pack position in the video of shoulder complex uh, just uh, loose pack position is a position in which the joint structures are loose there is a space uh, between the two bones okay and the close back position is certain position where the where there is minimum space between the bones okay 
so the synovial fluid accumulation in the closed pack position is very minimum while synovial fluid accumulation in the loose pack position is uh, much more than the uh, actually uh, in the closed pack position sorry loose pack position now let's talk about the closed pack position so in the closed pack position it is extension extension with internal rotation with adduction adduction now let's talk about the capsular pattern okay capsular pattern so the capsular pattern of the hip joint is flexion abduction internal rotation okay so when the capsules of the hip complex are affected then the which movements would be restricted most probably the flexion abduction and internal rotation movements are restricted now the next thing which i'll be discussing is femoral triangle see femoral triangle i've made a separate video on femoral triangle i will provide that link in the comment box also in the description box so i'm not going to discuss much more about the femoral triangle okay there is a separate video itself in the femoral triangle i've discussed all those things uh, over there so please uh, do visit uh, i'll provide that link in the description box so the next video will be about the angles of the hip complex in which i'll discuss all the angles which is angle of femur and angle of acetabulum in the next video so this video i'll be ending here uh, otherwise it will be taking a whole a lot of time so next video i'll try to discuss it with certain diagrams so that you will be able to understand how the angles are made and how the uh, lines are drawn so thank you so much for watching this video